Hello, Jay Williams here and welcome to another video. Uh, today I want to talk to you about something you're probably going to call me crazy for until you watch to the end of the video and then you'll realise it actually makes a lot of sense. Um, my hair is blowing everywhere by the way, it's quite windy here on the Gold Coast. Today I want to talk to you about why you don't want to make $20,000 a month. Now you're probably thinking, Jay, have you lost the plot? Everybody should want to make $20,000 a month. Money makes the world goes round. Money makes you happy. Of course, money is uh, a big thing in business. Uh, money is something that we all need and it's something that definitely gives us choices. But one of the things I've been working on a lot recently is hacking my own personal happiness and helping to impact others and help others actually do the same and whether that be through uh, helping them into the process of joining the Six Figure Mentors or just helping them with their own personal relationships whether that be uh, with their boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, with their children and uh, not that I know anything about working with children but I understand that building a solid relationship with your kids and being present with them is very important. So one of the things I've realized is that even though you see a lot of these people on the internet talking about, look at me and my flash Ferrari, not that one there, uh, look at me and my um, big mansion house, look at me and my money that's shooting out of the laptop. We've all seen the images of that going on. I realize more and more that people don't really give a shit about all of those material objects. Most people just want to be able to spend some quality time with the people they want doing the things they actually want to do. And most people don't actually care about making $20,000 a month. Most people would probably be happy with something in the region of $5,000 a month. If that would allow them to sit at home and work from home and lead a lifestyle that's completely free and flexible where they no longer work for a boss or they're tied down in a business they'd probably be really happy with that i'd love to hear what you think on this would you take that i'm out of breath it's hard walking i'm off to uh, my co-working space uh, at the minute and you want to farm would you be happy with that really now what I want to share with you is some things that you can actually do right now, some practical things, because I know a lot of people talk about theory. Um, I want to give you some practical tips for hacking your own happiness before you get to that 20,000, because what I've seen happen and what those, are, those people around me uh, have discussed with me is how when you earn more, the more you earn, the, you know, the 10s, the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, 50,000 dollars, more than possible of course, but the more you earn, the bigger your problems actually get. If you haven't dealt with all those issues going on in your life, like issues in relationship, issues with money, issues around worthiness, then what tends to happen is things just tend to get worse for you. Uh, the money just increases that problem by 10, and your life is going to become a whole lot fucking more miserable because money does not buy you happiness. Money buys you choices. So here's what I'm going to recommend you do to hack your own personal happiness. And if you're always looking towards this goal of when I get there, I'm going to do this when I get there. I'm going to meditate when I get there. I'm going to show gratitude when I get there. There's some things that you can actually do. So the first thing I recommend you actually do is you write down what I call um, the ideal day. So this is what you want your life to look like and whether that be in one year, two years, five years, ten years. What do you want your life to actually really look like? Do you want to be that person that gets up in the morning and goes for a run or expresses gratitude or does meditation? Do you want to be that person that shows up for your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend? and is someone who commits quality time to uh, date nights and things like that because they are really important. Do you want to be that person who eats healthier? I really don't know what type of person you want to be, but what I will tell you is if you go through this exercise where you write down exactly what you want your life to look like, what an ideal day looks like. So for like me, I really have to push myself because my ideal day, I pretty much live it every single day. And it feels fucking amazing, by the way. 
and um, like for example in my ideal day I wake up have some water rehydrate after good night's sleep I um, have some honeydew melon um, like that sweet taste in my mouth I um, then get my gym kit on and I go for a run I like going uh, for a run along the, the beach the sun watch the sunrise it's absolutely unbelievable and it's just it's really positive energy down there on the beach here on the Gold Coast because everybody loves fitness and then I do things like come back and meditate I visualize I should gratitude for all the unbelievable things I have in my life like freedom my family my girlfriend the money I have in my life that allows me to put food on table the fact that I can impact people in a really positive way and be a leader in my own life and a leader that makes a stance for other people grateful for all of that shit so those are just some ideas on things that I do in my life but what you next need to do is look at your ideal day look at your list and ask yourself what can I do right now that's on that list that's going to make me happier and if you just take one or two things and actually just start doing them maybe that's you know what I want to read my kid a book at night before they go to bed make the time for it because it will make you happier and the happier you are the more of that you'll actually start to attract in your life don't wait for happiness to come to you because it'll never come you need to take it by the balls grab hold of it with both hands and actually work at it work at your own happiness so just a little exercise um, for you to try out i'd love to hear how you get on with this uh, any feedback if anyone does do it give it a go for a few weeks see how much of a difference it makes you'll probably see it after a few uh, after a week or so how good you actually feel and then once you've done that let me know reply to this video in the comments box below or if you're receiving this an email just uh, respond to an email so i'd love to hear your feedback so for me i think i'm about to curl over and die a bit out of breath uh have an amazing amazing day uh and i look forward to seeing you soon for another video bye for now